Hi, everybody. <laughs> this is Yvonne Zussel. Uh, I am with the ABC Dining Team, and we are so excited to be cooking today with James Beard Award-winning chef Jonathan Waxman, who owns, amongst others, Barbudo in New York, a Delta in Nashville, and, of course, Renta Cucina here in Pond City Market, which is where we are today. What are we going to be cooking? So, um, my favorite dish in the world is gnocchi. Yes. But I never liked the version in, in Italy. I didn't like poached gnocchi. Okay. And I didn't understand why I didn't like it, but I didn't like it. And about 15 years ago, I was giving a dinner party for my wife. Uh -huh. And my wife goes, okay, so when are you going to serve the gnocchi, babe? <laughs> I said, uh, well, they're in the freezer. She goes, great place for them. Turned her back on me and walked away. <laughs> so this is what this you is what, this is what I did. Okay. So I want you to grab a gnocchi in okay. your hand and squeeze it. It's rock hard. Rock hard. hard, rock yes. hard. Okay. Yep. So let's remember the rock hard gnocchi part. We're okay. Gonna, we're gonna get to that. All right. Okay? We'll All right? Remember. Okay. Remember. So <laughs> because it's autumn, uh -huh. and I love Brussels sprouts, we do a little Brussels sprouts with garlic, and we're gonna make a little bit of. Uh, a little pesto with some different herbs besides basil, okay. including basil, but besides basil. And uh, so we're going to start off with these beautiful Brussels sprouts. And Brussels sprouts are, it's super important that squeeze them, that they're rock hard. That is a very hard Brussels sprout, yeah. All this right. one's a little soft, feel that one? Yeah. So that one we're going to reject. Okay. okay? So, <laughs> you just throw that out. So <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to start off these Brussels sprouts and the, the drill is just to, we're going to cut them so they're just right, so they'll saute quickly. Okay. And... The nice thin slices. Not too thin, not too thick. Okay. Now, these are from raw. If you want to cook them ahead of time, what happens is that it turns into a cabbage-like flavor, and that's why people don't like Brussels sprouts. So... Cooking ahead of time, not recommended. No, not okay. at all. Unless you want to roast them in butter in the oven at a very high temperature, and that gets rid of the cabbage-like flavor. Okay. All right? Uh, so that one's a little yellow. We're not going to use that one. So looking, yeah, so the coloring, what are we looking for? We're, we're looking for bright green with a really creamy interior. Okay. Um, and I'm squeezing each one as we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, quickly saute this. And we're going to do about one cup. Okay. okay. And what happens with the Brussels sprouts is that they're going to reduce in size. Because Brussels sprouts are basically 80%, 90% water. Right. Okay. So when you cook them, they're going to lose that moisture. And we're going to cook them with a little bit of garlic. And I'm just going to go one clove and I just crack the garlic open. Nice. And then at home, it's so easy to do this way. And then cut off the little end piece. So okay. cut off the ends after you take the skin off. Right. And, uh, then, okay. and then you look inside to see if there's any um, germ. That's the germ that's right the there. That's the germ. All right. And, and that's where all the, the bad stuff happens. <laughs> and then you put the garlic right at the corner of the board and you smash it. And smash it again. Get out all that aggression, too, at the same time. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and you see the little green part that came out? Yep. So we'll get rid of that. All right. And we're gonna chop that up briefly. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little olive oil and we're gonna go over here to the saute pan. And we're gonna add in about, it's like two teaspoons of olive oil. Not, you don't want too much. Okay. And then we're gonna turn it on high. At home, I would recommend doing a medium high. Okay. And don't leave it. And what I'm gonna ask you to do is, is um, but if you want to, um, let's put the Brussels sprouts on a plate. Okay. Just uh, scoop right in there. Just, don't, don't use a oh, knife. Don't use a knife. All right. Now, here's why you don't use a knife, because you don't want to dull your knife. If you want to use your knife, you use the top of the knife. Ah, okay. Okay, does that, that make is, sense? It totally makes sense. That's All right. <laughs> and it's, yeah, so um, and you don't want to make a mess like I'm doing, so <laughs> I always use my hands. I try to get everything. And we're going to just throw this in the pan. And is there anything that you're looking for in terms of the olive oil? Like, is there anything special nothing, that you nothing, want? Nothing special. It, okay. This is this is the easy part of life. Okay. Then, uh, <laughs> just any olive oil. All right. Obviously, at the, right at the beginning, you want to add some salt. And it's about a quarter of a teaspoon. Okay. Not too much. Okay. All right. 
And uh, we'll do the ingredients and go along so I want everybody to understand exactly what we're doing here. Right. Okay. And we will have the recipe up on abc.com yeah. and, and then later on. This is freshly cracked pepper. Okay. okay. And we're not going to have the garlic yet. Okay. And we're really going to cook it for about a minute or a minute and a half. Okay. That's all we have to do. Okay. That's that's it. Okay. Just quick. quick. And just to remind everybody watching, if you're just tuning in, we are here with Chef Jonathan Waxman. We are making uh, Brussels sprout gnocchi at Brezza Cucina. If you have so, any questions, type them in the comments. We'll get them answered. So if you see what's happening is that the Brussels sprouts are kind of popping up. Yep. That's saute. Okay. Saute, the word saute means to jump. Oh, really? There you go. Okay. And so the Brussels sprouts are literally jumping in the pan. Uh-huh. And they're done. That's it. All right. That was quick. That was quick. Yeah. That's it. Now we're going to add the garlic. I'm going to do the garlic off the heat because I don't want it to get brown. And we're just going to add the garlic right here. Okay. And just let it sit. And that you can do ahead of time. Okay, so you because don't even need to put the garlic on the heat at all? No, you can, you can do that you can do ahead of time. So now we're going to make a little pesto. All right. So. Um, this is kind of the, the best part of the of the deal. So this time I'm, I am going to cut these things in half, and I'm, I'm going to be a little more judicious about the germ inside. See the germ in there? Mm-hmm. Pull that germ out. See that? See how big it is? Yes. And that's super important. And I know it's kind of a pain at home. Why am I cutting the germ out? Well, you know what? It just tastes better. Okay. It just does. Um, and for this pesto, we're going to. All you need is two cloves. Okay. Okay. And cut these in half. Pop the germ out. That is it. Everyone's different. See how big that germ yeah, is? Yeah, I was going to say that one's so small. That one's Look at that. so much larger. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's huge, right? Yep. It's kind of crazy, right? Yeah. So every garlic is different. So two cloves of garlic. And then we're going to take them and we're going to slice them very quickly. Okay. Just like this. Mm -hmm. And then again like this. That's all you have to do. Now, you can help me pick some herbs. Okay. And we're going to throw some of these just right on top of the garlic. Okay. And what are what are these herbs that we are... Uh, so, uh, you're doing parsley right now. And there's, okay. some, there's some beautiful oregano. Oh yeah. Isn't that nice? It's very nice. And it's funny, this time of year, um, oregano is beautiful. And I'm going to add some more some more basil. Okay? Okay. That's enough. And let's put some chives in there too. Alright. Okay. Sure. So, we need some pine nuts. Okay. We're going to add some pine nuts right on top. Now you could do this in a machine, but it takes all the fun out of it. Yeah, this is so much more fun. So much fun, right? <laughs> And then we're going to add a little salt, a little pepper. And it's so pretty, too. And it's pretty. And, it, and this is the fun part. A little tiny bit of olive oil, not too much. Everybody puts too much olive oil in pesto. <laughs> to and be judicious with the olive oil. Yeah, you, yeah, well, you just sort of, you don't need that much. And then you gently chop it. And watch how I'm chopping. I'm not going up and down. I'm chopping through. And you want to try this in a sec? I'm, I'll get a starter for you. Sure. <laughs> now watch how um, my fingers are on top of the knife, and I'm, I'm slicing, slicing through, through. Mm -hmm. okay? Rather than up and down. All right. I'll get this really soon. And this shouldn't take very long. You're making it look easier than I think it actually is. Okay, so is. why don't you try? <laughs> All right. There you go. Now, I'm, I'm going to set this side of you. Okay. And I'm going to push, I'm going to relax, relax your, your left hand. Just relax. Okay. Lay it on top just like this. Fingers up in the air. Fingers right on top of the blade like that. Uh -huh. yeah. Put okay. your fingers together. Hold it. Relax. <laughs> okay. And don't move. Oh, we're yeah. Go through. See where we're going? Don't lift your knife okay. off the board. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. How's that feel? That's, it feels yeah. much better, right? Now I'm, I'm pretty much an expert now. Yeah. Yeah. Now, so. yeah. And, and that's the way that packs it home. Okay. And then watch this. So at this point, we're almost a pesto. Yeah, look at that. We're almost, it didn't take very long. No, and it didn't. Now I'm going to. Just 
kind of. And this is really the way things were done in the old days. And yeah, I, before food processors. Before food stuff, processors. You didn't have a choice. And you can pour a little bit of olive oil on top for me. Just a sure. tiny bit as I go. Right on top of the knife. A little bit more. Second. Keep going. So I tell you to stop. Stop. Okay. Beautiful. And you want just. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it smells so good. Too. It smells great, right? Yeah. And that's all you need. So we're going to put that into a little bowl. That really is like honest to goodness pesto, and that didn't take more than yeah. It's, five it's gonna, it, yeah, it, it, yeah. It takes two minutes. Yeah, I was gonna say. It's okay, great. so we've got our pesto with our pine nuts. We have some cheese, we have some chives, and we have our Brussels sprouts. So now here comes the fun part. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> There's lots of fun parts. So remember, my wife said, "Where's the gnocchi, babe?" Yes. So put, put, some all, put some olive oil on there. Alright. A little bit more. That's good. Now I want you to put some butter in too. Alrighty, go for it. Just like a pat of butter. And you want it just to start turning golden. We're gonna grab the gnocchi out. Okay. Then the other one right there. Oh, no, okay. this one here. Make sure they're still hard. They are still indeed hard, yes. Okay, great. <laughs> are you ready? Yes. So when the butter starts changing color, uh -huh. we're gonna add it, okay? Okay. So let's wait. All so right. Done. All right. And from our Facebook Live viewers, Laura says, hi, Jonathan, and Jennifer says she's loving this. <laughs> <laughs> so look, here's, here's the deal. You want, there's two things, two senses, our eyes and our smell. Mm -hmm. Do you smell that now? I do, yes. Isn't that beautiful? I wish everybody can smell through the, the smell through is the just screen. <laughs> and so, and can you tilt the pan away from me? Sure. Because the, the, the handle will not get hot in this pan, it's a special pan. And I'm going to add the gnocchi right in here. Okay. And they, they sometimes just, they stick together a little bit. Now you can lower, lower it back down okay. and shake it for me, gently. And I want them to move around a little bit. Let them move. Do a little dance. <laughs> That's good. Now you're doing good, okay? Yeah. All right. And see how all of a sudden the butter is going to start changing color. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. It's a little browner. And so obviously these are homemade gnocchi here. So it's yeah. I mean, listen, you could buy this in the store. Uh -huh. gnocchi, gnocchi are pretty standardized everywhere. Um, gnocchi here is a little bit different, though. It's special. Yeah. But. <laughs> To make it at home, yeah. Or here, how's it? We, we take a rusted potato uh -huh. and literally just cook it in water uh -huh. with a little garlic and rosemary. Okay. For about 40 minutes or so. Okay. In the skins. Mm -hmm. And then once they're done, we take them out, let them cool totally, mm -hmm. and then we don't peel. We put them through a ricer. Oh, okay. And so you get that beautiful fluffy. That's the best way to make mashed potatoes, by the way. Uh huh. And rice yeah. it and add to two potatoes, we add about four tablespoons of flour, add a tablespoon of olive oil, and one egg yolk and some salt. And then we gently mix it together like Play-Doh. Uh-huh. And then roll it out like little one inch little things. Sounds like fun. If, if it's not fun, why, why, point, should, why, right? why should we do this? Yeah. Now, so what's happening now, and, and home, don't do this, don't use your fingers, they're starting to turn brown. And, and then, do you want to turn them in so what we're going to do is lower the heat down. Just kind of toss them a little bit. And they're starting to turn brown. And use a fork at home. Don't use your fingers like me. <laughs> Fruit tip. Fruit tip. Yeah. Yeah, because um, you might burn yourself. It smells so good. It smells good, right? Yep. So, and all of a sudden they're starting to turn brown. Yeah. Now. Here comes the fun part. We're going to let these guys get brown here. And once they're brown, then we're going to add the Brussels sprouts in. Okay? Okay. Right. And just to remind everybody, we are here with Chef Jonathan Waxman at Breath of Cucina. We are making Brussels sprouts gnocchi just in time for fall. And we're also going to talk about the fall menu. Let's grab your pesto. Okay. And I'll grab the cheese. All right. And we're just, you put that right here. Okay. Okay. 
We're gonna, since we have all our ingredients right here, we're gonna add, add our Brussels sprouts. And we have some garlic already in there, so we don't have to add any more garlic. Right. I can smell it. Yeah. You smell the garlic. Isn't that beautiful? Uh-huh. Right. Okay. And then we're going to shake the pan for me here. Alrighty. Shaking this up. Okay. Shake. I can eat it. Okay. Okay, now, this, oh. is, this is the fun part. Oh, my God. You're going to a little bit. You love saying this is the fun part, but they're all the fun parts, I guess. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I did this, um, I did a demonstration with Venus Williams a little while back, and I made suck attach. I asked her to try to do that, and she couldn't do it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that makes right, me feel so a little better. This is the magical ingredient. Water. Water, okay. Now, typically gnocchi is poached, right? Mm-hmm. So, instead of poaching, what we're going to do, we're going to add just a tiny bit of water. Just about two tablespoons of water. Okay. About an ounce and a half. And if you just go ahead and smell it. Oh, yeah. Could you add the pesto in? About I half can. the pesto? Sure. Okay. A little bit more? A little bit more. Right. Throw that right in there. Alright. And then... We're going to add a little butter right in the pan. Isn't that beautiful? It is very beautiful. And it smells so good. Add a little butter right in the center, and that is going to start uh, going out equally all over the. And then put, add in all those chives for me. All right. Are we still at uh, for people at home at medium heat? We're right about medium heat. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. I don't think we're. Yeah. All right. Now, at home, if you, you don't want to flip it. You can just you can use your spoon, mm -hmm. kind of move it around a little bit. Yeah. You don't want to flip it. And what's happening to the butter is just slowly kind of melting inside in, in, the, in making a sauce. Okay? Now, this is the fun part again. <laughs> I want you to taste it. Okay, All right. gladly. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so the last thing we're gonna need, we're gonna need a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. So we just make a little par some Parmesan on top. And I think we need a little bit more water, just a little bit. Okay. And I put it right where the butter is. Okay. What made you realize that you needed a little bit? It looked a little water. dry. Okay. 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 Now, white for ourselves. And turn the heat up just slightly. Got a little too low here. You want it, you want it to be bubbling the whole time. Okay. okay. That's a little better. And once the butter is evaporated entirely into the sauce, isn't that beautiful? So nice. Yes. Yeah. Like the perfect fall day. One of our Facebook viewers, Sarah Martin, says she wants to try this. <laughs> so I guess that's a good segue to ask me if it's on the fall menu. Uh, we actually are doing it now with, with broccoli, but we're going to switch over to Brussels sprouts soon. Okay. And, okay, now I'm going to taste it myself, make sure I'm happy with it. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too shabby. You want the crunch of the Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. You don't want it, because you want, you want to keep all the intrinsic nutrients Extra. and oh. action. Um, but you also want a little crunch. Uh-huh. Which sure. plays nicely with the gnocchi, the right. So here we go. The and then we're just going to plate it up for ourselves. Uh, so pretty. <laughs> Get all this good stuff out of the pan. And you want to hold up your dish? My dish, yeah, right. <laughs> Look at that. I'll take all the credit. I mean, clearly. All right, it's all so, it's beautiful. let me get a spoon for you. All righty. So we just made some Brussels sprout gnocchi with 
Chef Jonathan Waxman at Bretzik This is hot, so you have to blow right. it up. Make sure you blow it up. I want to try it as well. Make sure I'm happy with it. <laughs> It is easy. It's but, delicious. But they're it's like so little, good. little pillows. They you really know, are. They're like little pillows. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So what happens when you saute them from frozen? The moisture, the, the frozen moisture is inside. Mm -hmm. Tries to get out. But it, getting out, it just puffs up the inside like little pillows. They're adorable. I know. They're really <laughs> cute, right? Yeah. So you do want to cook them straight from frozen for that reason. Right. Yeah, and yeah. that's and that's how I do it in Barbudo, that's how I do it here, how I do it in Dells in Nashville. Uh -huh. And I do it at Champs in, in, in New York. As in well. New York, right, you're right. But um, I'm, I'm a very bad boy, I always like eating my fingers. I think that's the best way to eat. Um, can we talk a little bit? So you said this is going to be on the fall menu. Yep. So what, uh, what are some of the other things that people can expect on the fall menu? So here? listen, um, it's that transitional time of year, so it's time for turnips, mm -hmm. it's time for pomegranates, it's time for uh, uh, pumpkin. For uh, delicata squash, um, for pizzas with different mm. seasonal ingredients, citrus is coming in now. Ooh. Oranges, Meyer lemons, grapefruits. Uh, I love the season. Yeah. I love all those hard, the hard uh, like like delicata squash. I mean, it's the greatest thing in the world. Uh huh. You know, I I, I could I, this gnocchi with delicata squash would be fantastic. Okay, so maybe that's something we'll see on the menu in the future too. Absolutely, and then. You know, we try to change things. We try to keep a lot of things the same. My meatballs are always here. We always have our arancini dish and our little rice balls. Mm -hmm. We always have four or five different pizzas. But we'll do a seasonal pizza. Um, we're starting to do brunch now, so we're doing. Uh, we're going to start doing uh, Italian crepes, crispelli, with uh, ricotta and honey. And we're going to start. Uh, oh man. <laughs> um, we're doing frittata, sort of Italian omelet with herbs and, and brata cheese. Um, I think we might do like little shrimp skewers on the on the plancha, like little what they call speedini, little little yeah. little. Mm -hmm. I love those. Yeah. Um, so cute. And really kind of shake it up. We're doing porchetta now with polenta, mm -hmm. and we might do porchetta with other things. Um, anyway, that's okay. that's fall at at at, at That's great. And some cocktails too, if people are. We do lots of seasonal cocktails. Um, Andrew, my GM, loves cocktails, mm -hmm. so we're, we're he's excited about doing that. And. We decided to make the entire wine list available by the glass. Oh, great. So okay. you don't have to get a bottle. You, you don't want to spend you know, the money getting a bottle, get a glass or something. It's, it's working out great. I love it. That's great. And, and we uh, have a question from one of our Facebook Live viewers on yes. the menu. Are there gluten-free options Catherine wants to know? 100%. So you can make the gnocchi with potato only. If you, if you think that it's not coming together, you can add either cornstarch, which is which is uh, absolutely gluten-free, or you could add uh, arrowroot. Arrowroot is a little tricky. Um, it, cornstarch is easier to work with, I think. Um, you could also, if you get it from the health food store, chickpea flour is amazing. Mm. I love chickpea flour. And I kind of like almond flour too. Almond flour is another secret ingredient. You could, instead of adding uh, flour to the potato, just add some almond flour. Actually, you can mix it together. Almond and ch <laughs> chickpea, a little cornstarch. Mm. Amazing, right? Really? And if you want to keep it uh, vegan, you don't have to add the egg, and you don't have to use butter. You do just you do a, all of all. Do you have all. a gluten-free option in in house here? Well, uh, we always have a gluten-free option. Oh, you so, do. Okay. Yeah, um, not gnocchi, but other other, other things. things right? Yeah. Okay. We have a lot of vegetables. Okay. But um, I'm really very sensitive to that because I just lost 45 pounds. Oh, And thank you. <laughs> and I went on a real kind of almost austere uh, diet that um, I stopped eating meat. I stopped eating poultry. Um, and I feel like 10 times better, but eating vegetables was the key to life. Really? All right. Especially things like beautiful Brussels sprouts. They really are beautiful. <laughs> All right. Any other questions? All right. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank you. you so much for aren't cooking you, with us. Happy? I'm so happy. I'm like yeah. in heaven right now. So <laughs> Great. Um, thanks so much. And we're going to have the recipe on um, agency.com yeah. later today. Yeah. So check it out on the um, Atlanta restaurant scene uh, blog. Thanks so much.